Hey everyone, Christian here, and I'm going to show you a little, <clears throat> a couple of little things that uh, are important when replanting certain types of palms. I'm going to go over, uh, most notably, what a palm heel is and how to properly plant or replant or repot a palm that has a palm heel. So this is a Dipsis manangerensis that I have had since about 2010. I grew from a seed. Maybe a little bit, maybe 2011, something like that. So um, it's, you know, six, seven years old, and it's in a five gallon. It should be in a 15 gallon by now, but I just haven't gotten around. This is where I kind of keep my plants that need a little bit of TLC. They either got got fungus, just are mechanically deficient, and I try and get close attention to them by closer attention to them by keeping them uh, at the house. So. Um, here you can see this one was having uh, some necrotic tissue issues, so I uh, brought it over here to the garage and uh, underneath the roof overhang so it wouldn't get rain right into the crown, which was probably the issue. It was getting too much water where it was sitting, so um, you know the other the leaves look like they're a little bit deficient uh, in uh, potassium. Uh, <clears throat> so. I am going to apply some fertilizer as well, some short-term stuff to kind of make sure that this doesn't continue happening because every leaf is about four to six months in the making. They're not very fast-growing palms and they're very pretty though uh, for quite some time. But as you can see, it has a, right to the right of the trunk or the base, it has a, a little uh, woody stem kind of coming up and that's the palm heel. Most palm heels aren't that upright, they're more, they grow more outward, more in a horizontal. This one's more vertical. Um, just the nature of the plant, each, each palm is going to have a different type of heel. And, and not all palms have heels, in fact it's kind of random. It isn't, it isn't just crown shafted palms or just palmate palms, it's uh, all different uh, types over different genera. So. Uh, dipsis will have some dipsis will have heels, some won't. Usually, the big dipsis have a decent sized heel. And so, what this is is essentially the root comes out, or this heel comes out, it's almost like a big brain of the roots, and it determines uh, or it kind of uh, monitors water and will appropriate roots uh, to where they need to go. And so, this, this part here, uh, you know, you don't want to mess with it. You want to let it, when you repot a uh, palm, you want to keep it above the soil line. And some of these roots are a little bit dried out. This palm heel may be going on its way out. They will eventually go away or just kind of die. Uh, but when it's in the juvenile stage is when it's most prominent. Um, I've seen heels on palms that are in 25 gallon pots. and uh, But they will eventually go away once the palm starts to mature. In fact, it's a sign that it's kind of maturing. Either that or it's a sign that it's dying. So. Um, you know, that is an important part of the palm that is, you can treat that like a very special root that you do not want to mess with. Uh, don't, don't throw soil over it. Don't, you don't feel like you're, you know, leaving roots hanging out. But, uh, if you do treat it well, you can, you know, spray directly with a liquid fertilizer that's of low, uh, nutrient content. And, uh, it'll, it'll d determine where it goes in the plant. I just call it, kind of call it, uh, the root brain. Now I... Certain area, certain palms, I say there's a root boss to the base, and I'll go over that in a different video. Uh, you'll see that more in crown shafted palms. Um, so, anyway, that's uh, it's really important to do that um, to not over to, to not pot the root pot it so the, the the heel goes underneath the soil. So, um, as far as this palm actually growing out of this, the best thing to do is basically keep water out of the crown at this point. You can see there's necrotic tissue that is dried out and there's still some dark tissue near the base. And once it grows out and it's green, it's getting out of the uh, meristem, then you're usually in the clear there unless there's some something else going on down below. There weren't any insects here, but I am letting it, like I said, dry out. So underneath the overhang of, his, of my uh, garage roof. So. Um, so if you come across that, which you will, if you have any juvenile palms, surely a few of them will have a heel. It's not uncommon, uh, and you know th there are dozens of species that have heels that are, are grown, you know, for cultivation purposes. So 
I just wanted to go over that and uh, hopefully I'm going to get some more videos out here. I've just been uh, really doing a lot of writing and I have not gone out a whole lot. I'm doing a little bit of traveling as well. So hopefully this was helpful. If it, is, what, if it was, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about palm heels and how to treat them, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more palm and other tropical plant related content, go ahead and subscribe and I will see everyone next time.